welcome back to my film and TV channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And we've got uh, a British historical drama mini series to have a look at today. So yeah, we do our history usually okay. Um, I'm sure there's a little bit of uh, license used with this. It is based on a book. So we're going to have a look at something that's simply called Mary and George. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything, film and TV, reviews like this, uh, information, vlogs, lots of different things. Please let us know your thoughts about this Mary and George or anything to do with film and TV. I'll respond or give you a thumbs up. And I'm trying to get about 10 likes, which isn't a massive target, guys, but you can get me up to 10 likes. Give that like button a smash. Yeah, it'd be much appreciated. Right, we'll have a look at Mary and George. Yes, uh, created by DC Moore and directed by Oliver Hermanus, Alex Winkler and Florian Cosson. This takes place over seven episodes, around about under and over 50 minutes. And it's based on Benjamin Woolley's non-fiction book, The King's Assassin from 2017, about the affair between James VI and James I uh, of, the, of Britain, is it? Yeah, James I of England, or whichever it's called, of course. And George Villiers, the first Duke of Buckingham. There you go. It was released on, so good they named a palace after him. It was released on Sky Atlantic in the United Kingdom on the 5th of March 2024. I'm doing this review as at the 11th of March 2024. So any comments for us at that date. This is not out yet in the United States. If you're over the pond there watching this, it's scheduled for release on Stars on the 5th of April. So uh, we've, uh, we've had it for about a month before you get it. It stars, yes, uh, Julianne Moore as Mary Villiers, Countess of Buckingham, eventually. Nicholas Galtzine as George Villiers, the first Duke of Buckingham, eventually. Tony Curran as James VI and the first. Laurie Davison as Robert Carr, First Earl of Somerset, Nicola, Nicola Walker as Elizabeth Hatton, and lots of others' uh, familiar faces as well. What's it doing score-wise? Well, Rotten Tomatoes quite like it. Don't have a massive breakdown of this. Just 11 critics, so 91% positivity. And they said it was bawdy, irreverent, and ruled by Julianne Moore in top form. Mary and George is a regal treat for fans of frothy court intrigue. Yes, it's, it's not exactly... Uh, Catherine the Great sort of verse. There's humour in it, but it's, it's mainly played uh, for realism and uh, factuality. As I said, I don't know about the book. I don't know how factual that was, but uh, I'm sure there's always dramatic license used anyway. Internet Movie Database, Joe Public. Yeah, they quite like it. 876, so it's not a massive amount. Scores and reviews. And it's getting a 7.2 out of 10. So that's not too shabby. My thoughts on it, I do like a historical drama like this, I do like these things. Julianne Moore uh, and Tony Curran lead very, very well, an excellent cast all, to get all round, but uh, yeah, they do, they do, of course, Julianne Moore and Tony Curran uh, uh, make this very watchable anyway. Skullduggery and conspiracies in the court of King James abound in this latest play uh, on historical drama, as I said, based on a factual book. And it's just, for me, just another historical drama to enjoy. Not if, you, if you like ones with plenty of action and battles and wars and stuff like that, it's, it's not one of those. It's more about the conspiracies and the backstabbing that goes on in court, obviously. Uh, of course, it's just another one to add to uh, quite a few historical dramas that I've enjoyed recently. So I uh, hope you do as well. Please let me know what you think. Yes, my scores are with fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I've been positive on Metacritic. And I'm not as high as Internet Movie Database, but I'm not far sure. I'm going to give this a very, very healthy, a very good 7 out of 10. So that's my score for uh, this little film. Uh, Mary and George, yes, and uh, is episode two, or well, what we call Mary and George, season two, or well, what we call Mary and George if there is, that's for sure. But uh, anyway, if you know your history, if I read up on it, as I like to do it, once once I watch something like this, I tend to sort of look at what really happened or how, how the facts behind the drama, if you like. So it's always nice to do that. So let me know let me know if you can say me do you have a do you watch something on telly then go and find out a little bit more about it from uh, uh well wikipedia or various other internet sites these days uh, don't have a we don't have a bunch of encyclopedias on the cupboard downstairs in the cupboard downstairs do we these days like you know they can make fortunes out of selling those encyclopedias door to door in the old days but uh, hey i'm old i'm old anyway thanks for watching guys It'd be great to hear from you. So we meet again. Last one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everyone.
Bye for now.